Good morning, folks. It's the uh, 5th of February, and I trust that you're well this morning. And uh, we look for a bit of encouragement, both from Scripture and also from Spurgeon's comments. We're looking at the New Testament, the first letter of John, chapter 4 and verse 14, which says, The Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. Notice Spurgeon's comments. It is a sweet thought that Jesus Christ did not come forth without his Father's permission, authority, consent, and assistance. He is sent he was sent of the Father that he might be the Saviour of men or humankind. We are too apt to forget that while there are distinctions as to the persons of the in the Trinity, there are no distinctions of honour. We too frequently ascribe the honour of our salvation, or at least the depth of its benevolence, more to Jesus Christ than we do the Father. This is a very great mistake. What if Jesus came? Did not his father send him? What if he spoke wondrously? Did not his father pour grace into his lips that he might be an able minister of the new covenant? He who know the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, as he should know them, never setteth one before the other in his love. He sees them at Bethlehem, at Gethsemane, and on Calvary, all equally engaged in the work of salvation. O Christian, hast thou put thy confidence in the man Jesus Christ? Thou hast placed thy reliance solely on him, and art thou united with him? Then believe that thou art united unto the God of heaven, since to the man Christ Jesus thou art brother, and holdest close fellowship, Thou art linked thereby with God the Eternal and the Ancient of Days, is, is thy Father and thy friend. Didst thou ever consider the depth of love in the heart of Jehovah, when God the Father equipped his Son for the great enterprise of mercy? If not, be this thy day's meditation. The Father sent him. Contemplate that subject. Think how Jesus works what his Father wills. In the wounds of the dying Saviour, see the love of the great I Am. That every thought of Jesus be also connected with the eternal ever-blessed God. For it pleased the Lord to bruise him, he hath put him to grief. Some thoughts there for us to ponder on as we work our way through the day. But until the next time, God bless, take care, and bye for now.